This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. This chapter gave us the tools we need to look at the data in our files. Open up the ice rink example file for this chapter's project. Imagine that we were given this AutoCAD drawing by our supervisor so that we can take some measurements on it to help make some construction estimates. AutoCAD can be used for more than just making drawings. Once something is modeled in AutoCAD, we can use it to get real-life information about it very quickly and with calculations. So we need to know the area of the ice rinks. Open up the Properties palette by pressing Ctrl-1 at the same time. Select the outer shape of the rink and read off the area in square units. Here is our area. All three rinks should be the same size. So select all three of them. There's our area. If it were to say varies, then we would know that something was wrong and that one of them was different. But that's okay. We need to know the total of all three areas. So go to the Home tab on the ribbon. Utilities, and then Area. We want to add these together, so type the letter A, press Enter, and then since they're closed objects, we can make this very easy on us. Type in O for objects, press Enter, and then pick each of them. Once they're selected, they'll be highlighted in green. Press Enter, and there is our total area. We didn't have to do any math. We didn't have to make a mistake transposing any of the areas. We got everything we needed right there. But what is the perimeter of the total rink? We don't need something exact. We just need the basic corners. Well, we don't have one big line to measure. So we'll go to the utilities, measure, distance. Now we want multiple points on here. So we need to pick our first point to begin with and hit M for multiple. And now we're going to go and pick the endpoints. No need to get these little walkway entry areas or the doorways. We're just looking for a general roundabout number. Use your scroll wheel to pan through and to get to all of your other endpoints that you need to. You can zoom in and out. And then get to your final point. Once completed, press Enter. And there's the total distance, meaning the perimeter for the entire ice rink. Now that we have this information, we need to clean up the drawing with the purge command to make sure the file is as efficient as it needs to be because we're going to be sending it to other contractors so that they can build the rink. So type in purge. Press enter. And now purge all. Yes, we want to purge all items. Click close. And there we go. Oh, wait a minute. The boss just called. And he says he wants to add another rink into the plan because the client literally just phoned it in. Well, we need to get back all of our unused layers and blocks so that we can use them to add on to it. So let's type in the undo command, undo the purge, and now we have everything back. As you can see, it's listed down here what we undid. So if we type in purge again, all these items are still here ready to be used. All is safe, all is good, we can continue with this change order.